Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial by me, and um, I guess it's fairly obvious what we're going to be creating today, this um, this ocean. Now, um, for, for my previous tutorial with ray traced water, you'll see that this tutorial is, probably looks a bit better, and um, it's also, in my opinion, a bit faster to create it if you want more advanced features, so, um, you know. Let's um, well let's let's do this. So, 3ds Max. By the way, if if you ever have this problem where you um, where, where, where when when you move it, it goes like that, like it kind of, and if you got even spheres or whatever, then they kind of turn to cubes and kind of like a wireframe thing. If you ever have that problem, all you have to do is press O, the letter O for orange, on your keyboard, and you know. That's it. So um, I only recently found that out, but just so you know, you know, it's it's very good. Yep. So um, let let's do this. Okay, first thing we're actually gonna do is in customize we're gonna go to unit setup and convert this into metric meters, and I'll tell you why in a sec. But um, next thing we want to do is we want to create a plane. Now the plane is going to be about 12.5 by by 12.5. Make sure it's a square, and um, and we can turn the grid off. And um, now in here in our render settings, you might want to um, you have to actually in in your in your oh it's already set to that, but in your in your in your assign renderer. Um, in production, not in active shade, leave that. But in production, make sure you have just click on here and click on mental ray and okay. Make sure you have mental ray. Um, so this is this is pretty good. But um, what what we what we need is to make it um, water. So materials. Another texturing tutorial, I guess. We're just going to make this water surface. And um, down here, we're going to click on Standard and Arc and Design. Now, if you have 3D, 3D Max 8, um, there, there won't be End Design in the MI. There'll just be Arc, and um, I don't remember anything else. It'll probably be the same. But um, just because I worked with 8 with, with this, or below, 7 and 8. Okay, so we want to change the color to a to a a C color. Now in my opinion a C color is, you know about that, an ocean color. Not 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 blue. Yeah. And um uh, <laughs> and um if we go down here in the bump, click on none and select ocean loom. Here it is. Okay, make sure you're in new. Not in here, but in you. And ocean loom is what you want. Okay, now this is why we put it to meters, because for the um, plane distance, you'll have to put some of these features to this. Now the largest, we want to make roughly 0 0.3. The smallest, I usually make 0 0.005. The quantity to five. The steepness to 6.5. And um, you also want to put the plane distance to um, two twenty-five meters. Um, turn on directed, and the angle is one hundred and fifty. Wave speed. We don't want waves, so zero. Um, well, we do, but it's not really animated. So you can animate this, which is really good with this um thing. Now already we're kind of looking good and um maybe maybe turn flats off okay so just drag and drop that in now if we just render that you'll see that we're 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 getting there this is this is pretty good water here um might might turn the reflection up reflectivity up to about 0 0.8 Okay, 
So next thing we have to do is actually make an environment because if we just check this out, I think I might just make it wider. 720 by 480. Um, anyway, we want to create something else than black. So what we have to do is in just press 8, like press the number 8 on your keyboard, or if you don't have a keyboard, don't know why you wouldn't, but I don't know, you know, if you can't afford one. Uh, <laughs> just click on an, a rendering and environment. And um, on map, click on and select a gradient because the sky isn't just one color. Open up your materials editor again and drag and drop it into a spare slot. Just call this um, sky. And um, we want to change the gradient to a kind of sky color. So blue and a lighter blue. You know, maybe um, whoops, maybe maybe for the why is it gray? Whoops, maybe for the um, this color could just make it a bit. Yep, render that out and um, see it kind of does have an effect, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, actually, for the largest, we might set it to um, to. 0 0.25 meters. Okay. One last thing is we're going to just add a light to our scene, an omni light, just to the back here, like so, just for that reflectivity. And there you have it, a, um, a pretty cool ocean. <laughs> In my opinion, yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Um, the, um, the stuff here is looking brilliant. And, um, you can animate this again. I think, I doubt it, but, um, if you just put the wave speed to, like, to, like, 5 or something. If you scrub through this, um, I think it might actually change the amount of waves, but I'm not going to look into that right now. If you turn auto key on, you can change, change the material around a bit, but, um, you know, zero is cool. Now, a couple of things. If you want to just just um edit a couple of these settings, um, uh, steepness is how big the waves are. So if you put it to like 250, it's, it's not going to look very good because the um it's trying to change it around a bit. Um, so in my opinion, you know, the top should be about seven point. Oops. What have I done? 7.5. You, you shouldn't have it much more than that. But, um, you know, it's kind of looking the same. It is, it is less green. But, um, I think this actually looks more natural. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, if you just want to change the color to red, because there's been a shark attack, you know, I don't know. Um, just, um, you can add more blue. Make it more of a blue color, kind of like this. This is a darker blue. But um, you know, do anything you want with this. Um, the color, you know, it'll be anything you want. So um, but generally, you know, that's basically a good way to achieve. A um a good version. So thanks for watching. I'm Jan Chernikov, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hurry up. Yeah, cool. See you guys. Oh, and please rate and comment so that you know maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe you have more stuff that I could teach you to do. I'm welcome to do that. So yeah, but anyway, thanks for watching.